welcome back to another review. And this time we take more of a personal journey into the life of Sydney Poitier. Oh man, this this one, I got to say it was a little bit unexpected. Uh, not really a, a fan of um, docu-films um, or, you know, documentary, documentaries about people's lives. But I, I got to say this one, this one definitely felt special, um, especially with it being you know, producing everything by, by Oprah Winfrey. Um, you, you gotta be pretty much not alive to not know who Sidney Poitier was and, and what he's done, um, and, or at least one of his movies. Um, um, you know, I, like I said, I haven't, you know, I can't say I've been following his career, um, you know, his entire life, but I at least know, I can say I can at least know three of his movies. Um, and with this particular documentary movie about his life you know from beginning to essentially the end of it if you guys don't know he just recently died in 2022 uh the guy led you know quite quite a life and and, and had adventures um as we get a a window into what's going on or what happened in his life up to this point his career his family his, his friends you know relationship stuff as, as such um and I gotta say, man, this is, this is well done. It was well shot. Um, I'm happy to, you know, like I'm happy they were able to do this movie with him actually getting to narrate his own life, which is really really cool. Half the time, you know, you, you don't get that chance and opportunity uh, to be able to tell your story. And I think, like I said, with Oprah, uh, you know, being his friend and Oprah being, uh, you know, <laughs> you know, I want to say mentor, but like. Oprah being, you know, a big part of his life uh, allowed him to do this. I could imagine how long it took them to do this, uh, how long they had this on, on the shelf, uh, because I could tell there was a lot of editing that needed to be done um, in this movie, and not in a bad way, uh, but it, it was just a lot of stuff. Is like, you know, when you make something like this, like, what do you keep? What do you, what do you decide? What stories do you decide you need to tell? Um, and you know it's just a lot like one of those things is like you know him leaving the bahamas when he was a kid at 15 years old a lot, a lot of people can relate to that story or tell the story about how they how they, how they left home when they were a kid now um like i said just times were, were, were different um and this this also goes over a lot of his experience younger dealing with um you know with racism um, and just blatant racism too at that, you know, dealing with the KKK, um, you know, he, he explains that his life in the Bahamas, uh, you know, he did, he was, he didn't have any of that because it was just a lot of the people that looked like him there until, you know, he, he left and then having to, you know, it, it wasn't until like later on, you know, when they started to migrate to, to the island and stuff like that, that he had to deal with such things. Like, so for the most part, um, he, you know, he was completely shunned away or, or, or shielded away from a lot of the crap that we got to deal with here um and you know just just a, just a lot of the the ridiculous is there um you know you never knew when you know a, you know with, according to you know sydney you know cops with kkk you know like you could you call the law and the law is out there trying to get you uh so you know he had a lot to deal with just kind of just leaving and getting his life started um, which is one of the things that I really liked, you know, because th that that felt like a personal ex that that was a personal experience that that I really liked that he shared in this movie, and I thought that was a really good uh, just scene of just him explaining fear, like you know, uh, and just not knowing what the heck is going on, and you know, just you know, you, you you just worried about you know a lot of things that are now relevant to today, like you know, you're never gonna lose, you never know when you're gonna lose your life, just you know, just going out and about, um, but. You know, he at that point, you know, he explains that he had to just get out, like dealing with stuff like that. It was just a no from him. So that was one of the things that had him move to New York. Um, and I, I couldn't imagine, you know, just up and uprooting, you know, your friends and family uh, and go to a completely different state. And this is something that, you know, older generation just had a lack of fear of. Like there was just no, hey, I, I don't know what I'm going to do. Hey, I'm gonna get that. I'm gonna figure it out, and and that's that's one of the things that I feel like I said, a lot of generations will definitely do. They'll move to another state and or another country in a heartbeat just to get a better life, or you know, put better themselves, or it's better for their family. Um, and that's one of the things that you see here just early on uh, with him. Um, 
he, like I said, he moved to New York and uh, he, there were a lot more people of color there. Uh, a lot more black people where when he said hello, they said hello back, you know, being being around people that look like you definitely makes you feel a lot more comfortable um, just in your life in general. And I think that's one of the things that really, you know, like he said, really stood out to him and, and, and really had his day just start a little bit better. Uh, you know, still still racism going on, but not not to the extent where, you know, you can just take somebody out in the middle of a back alley like what was about to happen to him that he explains before he left in new york um and you know as he says he got to new york you know he worked he's washing dishes um he wanted to become an actor <laughs> most people do not figure that out until they're like 30 what the heck they want to do i mean even with college even with uh you know guidance counselors stuff like that you, you just don't figure it out like exactly what you want to do i feel like a lot of the stories like this um people get a lot of uh, light bulb moments about what they wanted to do in their life or something would just gravitate towards them um a lot of these situations that people put under pressure um and they figure out careers or something that will make them money or you know necessarily make them rich um but yeah he wanted to be an actor um they say you know he walked into the negro theater and you know that was where he he knew he wanted you know, eventually, like he wanted to be an actor. This is something he wanted to do career, not even thinking that this is something that you you could do to make money. Um, and he talks about like you know them wanting him to get rid of his accent because he came from the Bahamas. So if you look at like, a lot of movies, you could definitely hear it, but you could tell that he put a lot of work in to try to get rid of that accent. Like you could tell he put a lot of work in here, um, and, and that, that was one of the things that uh, I, I really like. Man, like like I say, he. It's crazy, like, you know, not going to necessarily acting school, like one of the prestigious acting schools. I mean, you also talking like this is like the 1950s, you know what I mean? So 1950s, like, you know, trying to get into an acting school with other white people, like he is for the most part self-taught, um, which is something that, you know, you really look at. And this is this is crazy. Like this, this guy has really had a rough start, like and, and then found to find something like this and gravitate towards this. Just the type of person that he is. Um, and then you know we talk they talk about a lot of, they talk about a lot of his movies um and they talk about one of the first movies being no way out which you know him and uh, another a jewish white man are uh, escaping the law and uh you know this was like that controversial movie where um he makes the decision to sacrifice his freedom to stay with his friend that um he's been chained down with and surviving with this whole time it's been a controversial movie you know controversial decision um, but this is one of the things that like really set his career off um and you know after that you know they go into a lot of detail about you know him him and his family life guy had a lot of kids man guy guy apparently had time in between all these movies to have a lot of kids uh which is something that's really cool like you know he wanted to have a big family he wanted to expand his family especially leaving his family behind in the bahamas and you know he says he hasn't seen him. he hadn't seen him in almost like eight to ten years so again, like I said, a lot of people would not be able to do that um, and, and deal with that type of situation. Like I said, people don't have the mental for, you know, leaving their, their family, family behind and not having nothing and doing everything on your own. Um, let's go through like a couple of the movies. Like I said, if you guys just know uh, Raising the Sun, Paris Blues, um, Lilies in the Field and The Heat of the Night, which is a big, big, big movie for him uh, to serve with love. Um, a lot of movies, man, this guy did a lot. He did a lot for, you know, just not only did the movie industry, um, for black people. Uh, he, he said a lot of first, uh, being a lot of the first black leads on screen, stuff like that. Um, and this movie talks a lot about that. You know what I mean? Like just him just being the pioneer of a certain thing, taking risk um, and, and seeing having, you know, being the representation at that time that people needed, um, which is a big thing now. Like people just really want representation. People want more of more of us, more black people, more people of color and, and everything, because everybody wants to feel like they're a part of something. And I feel like Sidney Poitier did a really good job of making sure that he was the guy <laughs> that was in something, you know, with, with white women, white cast, whatever, you know. Um, this, this movie is also full of people that met him, that knew him, that admired his work celebrity cast is like ridiculous like as, as i'm going through this I, and, and and i watch this i'm like man this is this is when you know that you you were something good like you know just, most people they live and you know they live with the intention to like try to leave a mark on the world do something 
this guy left so many and so many different directions that I don't even know, you know, we'll hear his name for the next 2000 millennia. You know what I mean? Because like, it'll never go away. Uh, just name some of the, the celebrity guests, of course, Oprah, uh, Greg Tate, uh, Nelson, uh, Nelson George, Morgan Freeman, Quincy Jones, Spike Lee, Robert Redford, <laughs> Denzel Washington, uh, Holly Berry, Louis Gossett Jr., who was also one of his co-stars in the in previous movies, Lenny Kravitz, Kravitz, Ambassador Young, uh, and Andrew Young, uh, Barbara Streisand. Barbara Streisand plays a big part, a big part in this guy's life, big part. Um, but don't want to spoil too much. Uh, of if, you know, if you guys plan on watching this, it's going to be on Apple TV Plus. Uh, I, I was engaged the entire time, emotional from start to finish. I really enjoyed it. I recommend it. Um, I now want to go back and watch a lot of those movies just because this was done so well. And, you know, they give you like clips of like the movies throughout. And, and it, it, I can't say anything like this was just one of the best, best um, documentaries that I had the opportunity to watch. It, it was great. I really enjoyed it. Um, and I, I can't I tell you right now, you probably want to grab yourself some Kleenex or something like that, because uh it's, it's an emotional ride. Like you say, you get to see uh, his life from start to finish um, within a two hours period, which is weird. Um, but they did a really good job of filming this. And I highly recommend this to anybody that has Apple TV Plus to check this out when it comes out. Um, again, Sydney, Apple TV Plus, check it out. One of the best documentary movies you can watch right now about an extraordinary person who has touched a lot of people's lives. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I'll see you later.